Seven for 11, eight RBI, two home runs. Uh, how do you explain being so locked in right now? Um, I guess just, you know, continuing to try to keep a good head on my shoulders while I was down at the alternate side and not take for granted the reps that I was given there and just overall, like, not pouting, you know, because it, I was preparing to, to play for a team, you know, whenever, whoever that was, whatever my situation was, it came about and I took it serious down there and there's a lot of talent down there that keeps you ready. So, I mean, it's not, it's not the big leagues down there, but it's pretty close. So I would, you know, give all the credit to those guys. I want to take you back to your first at bat tonight against the Valdi, uh, a 2-2 cutter that was close and you let it go and you worked the walk. And you, I think you saw his entire repertoire in that at bat. How much did that help you in your next two at bats against him? It helped, you know, because I, dating back to last year, faced him twice and, and only got to see one fastball in those two at bats. And, and so I, I really didn't know what he was gonna throw me, you know, and, and, and his cutter was really good, and, and I was just trying to hit the ball to right field and see it as long as I could. But he's got a, a, a nasty arsenal, man. I mean, he throws he throws really hard, and he throws every pitch really hard. And he's just overall not the, the most fun at bat to, to hit off of. But seeing all, all of his pitches in the first at bat definitely helped for the next two. Thanks, Clint. Thank you. Dave Lennon, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. When you're coming up in this situation now, you're not just kind of coming up to be another piece. You're taking the place of a, a guy who was playing like an MVP and Aaron Judge. They're already down Stanton. And you come up in these first two games and really have big games. I mean, how does that make you feel as a significant contributor for a team that's missing some big pieces right now? It's a, it's a good feeling, you know, because, you know, trying to play the position of, you know, Aaron Judge is not easy and it's, I knew that last year, whenever I was playing right field, that none of those fans that bought season tickets came to the game to, to see me play. They came to see him. So, you know, he, he's overall put himself in a position to be, you know, the face of baseball. And, you know, trying to, to fill those shoes are big shoes to fill. But, you know, I, I've had a few years of, you know, getting it reps and, and getting the opportunity to play. And just overall, I feel comfortable coming into this role and it's not like I said I'm not uh it's not an unknown one but it felt good you know I mean obviously it's only a few at bats but I'm I'm satisfied with you know how I feel right now thanks Clint Brian Hoke you have the next question go ahead Clint, I know you worked hard on your defense you made that catch uh early in the game there what do you think you've, you've proven um uh, just as far as patrolling the outfield um I don't know if I've proven, you know, everything yet, but I mean, I think overall just making the simple catches, you know, I'm, I'm out there to, I'm not out there to, to be a gold glover, you know, I'm just trying to just make the simple plays, not saying that I can't get to that, but, you know, I just have to go out there and, and just make the simple plays and, and, you know, those are plays that I should make and I obviously, you know, had a few mishaps last year, but had a long, uh, long off season and a long, you know, I guess coronavirus off season as well to to make up for some stuff that happened last year. But you know, I'm, I'm I, I never really looked at myself as a bad outfitter. I just had a couple bad plays, and and you know, it's just like I said, it's easy plays that I should make, and I'm just happy that I'm making them this year. We can take another from Pete Caldera. Hey, Clint. Uh when you're driving the ball to center and, and, and right the way you did tonight, does that tell you everything you need to know about your approach and you know how you you, you felt about it uh, when you're in the alternate camp transferring it to here? Yeah, you know, I, um, I've had a lot of people along the way tell me to hit the ball to right field. And, you know, I guess the one that really stuck it in my head was Chris Iannetta. You know, we had a long time sitting on the bench in uh, Washington where he – he voiced his uh, opinion on what my swings look like going to right field and how I should make that my focal point. And, and, and it's not about trying to hit it to right field, it's about the intent. And that's exactly what he texted me the other night, right after I did this. And, you know, overall, like at times, I think because I have a quick, short swing, 
I need to kind of focus to the opposite side of the field to try to just keep the ball fair because I have a hard time sometimes keeping it fair down the left field line and it's just kind of slows me down a little bit gives me the ability to to hit the ball well and and against a guy like Evaldi where he throws so hard and has so many different pitches that you know are moving away from you it's it's the right approach to have and it's the one I'm going to have moving forward. Thank you. Eric Boland, go ahead. You have the next question. And during the, the up and down times that you've had with this franchise, have you ever lost confidence in your ability to hit? Uh, no. I mean, at times, like maybe for like a few days, you know, it wasn't like it lasted for an overwhelmingly long period of time where I thought, you know, like I can't hit. But I did go through skids of, of not hitting well, you know, and, and I, I don't know whether it was physically, mentally, or both of those combined. But, you know, at times it has been hard to to perform extremely well based off the, the circumstances that I've, you know, gone up and down and, and maybe put too much pressure on myself at times. But, you know, I've, I, I've always known that was the – the strongest part of my game, um, and I'm just, I'm just thrilled to continue to, you know, hit eighth in the lineup and get some opportunities. Thank you.